Good morning, this is Tracy Dinkle at Metro RV here in Billings, Montana. I was just gonna take my time with you guys and show you this 27.5L. This is a 2022 model year. Uh, we do pack uh, all of ours with the dual pane windows, the 12 volt pad heaters for the tanks for the black, gray, and fresh. Um, the other things that we do up here, which not a lot of other dealers do, which is we're gonna give you a camper kit, which is gonna give you a pressure regulating valve for your City Connect. Brand new potable hose, brand new sewer tube. We're gonna give, give you dump downs all the way from 50 amp to 110, so that way if you get in an RV park, you, you can adapt down. I do a plug in the box for you. I do all of your chemicals. Uh, we do batteries, fill propane. We give you a fifth wheel loop plate. If you're on a standard traditional fifth wheel uh, hitch, if not, we do a, the Anderson hitches on the side if you want to go to the Anderson hitch but we try to accommodate our customers as best as we can. The other thing that we do is that we're gonna give you uh, no dock fees, so no funny money. It's straight out the door pricing. So that way when you uh, do purchase, you don't get any uh, surprises at the end of the uh, transaction. So going off, uh, we do prep all of ours for generator. It's already pigtailed and everything is all ready to go. As you can see, you do get ample storage up in the uh, front bulkhead area for the storage cabinet. Full diamond plate. You do get full one piece fiberglass underneath. And then they do use Chronospan Phylon, which uh, has more fibers per square inch to help mitigate from delaminating and give you a overall better life expectancy when it does come to the sidewall. You're gonna get one inch block insulated doors, which are block foam insulated with virgin block foam. It's never been recycled or reused. So that way it has a higher density and you get a better R factor out of it. We do do the two 40 pound tanks, which I do fill those up for you free of charge. So that way we can do our pressure test and make sure everything works. This one does come with uh, electric auto leveling, which is the Moride uh, Lippard uh, 3.0 auto level. The nice thing about that system is that uh, when you're getting ready to pack up and leave, remember the height of your truck so that way it makes it easy to uh, hitch up and hitch down. Uh, when we go up to the hitch over here, uh, this one does run the Moride Kingpin. So the real big benefit on this one is it completely eliminates chucking. That stop and go transition where you feel the trailer bucking on you and uh, not giving you a good transition of stopping and going. So you're going to get one and a half inches of travel back and forth, three quarters of an inch side to side, eighth of an inch up and down. It's a totally non-serviceable hitch. You just use it and it does its thing. You're gonna get fully molded front caps that are auto grade painted with Sickens paint. They're gonna be batten insulated in the front. On that particular one, you're gonna get four and a half feet worth of insulation in the front cap to help mitigate cold soak and heat soak in travel. On the side here, you can see this does have the smaller slide box for the ward. You are gonna get drains down here for uh, water so that way it doesn't get pulled up on the gearing. And then underneath, they're all Darko finished all the way underneath. Around all of your edges, they are all uh, Beulah taped. Around edges of lap paneling, uh, edges of windows, everything's all done so that way you don't have to worry about it. Other side of your storage underneath the end of the basement compartment, everything is all done in tubular aluminum superstructure which is all welded. Right there is your auto level in conjunction with your battery system and your slide box system. All of your weights are located right here. So hitch weight is 2205, unloaded with nothing in it is 10,915. Total GVRW of what you can uh, have it loaded to is 13.6 with a cargo carrying capacity of 2685. You do, we do use all steel slam latches on our coaches. So that way they don't get mucked up with uh, heat and cold. And then the other nice thing, they don't get brittle over a period of time. Going into your waterworks, you do have a sewer tube holder located right there. You're gonna have your hot and cold outdoor shower for your sewer system, dedicated uh, win uh, winterized line and Santa fill, which is gonna be for your Santa flush. Uh, this does have high pressure nozzles on the inside of the black tank to clean everything out so you don't get false readings, use a ton of chemical, and just make it nice and easy on that end. Dedicated dead man switch there to kill off all the 12 volt in conjunction with the docking light located right there. Underneath, it's a fully reinforced aluminum structure 
huge rack and pinion slides when they're weight bearing. And then everything's, like I said, all Darko finished out on the bottom. Nice thing about those rack and pinion slides is uh, maintenance wise, you just go up there with a nylon or a steel brush, get all the debris off, do a light coat of lithium grease, run it in and out a couple times and you're done. Uh, further going on, they do have radius cut windows. They are dual pane. So they do tilt out from the bottom, so that way you do get good water runoff, and then you get good pass-through flow, so that way you don't have to worry about water coming in. Underneath the booth dinettes, they do got 50-50 split storage. On this side, you can do uh, Rubbermaid totes and slide them in and out. You still get your one inch block insulated doors with magnetic hinges, so that way you have no uh, head knockers and you're not breaking clips off on accident. Uh, going off to the side right here, you're going to have your 50 amp located right there in its compartment. You are going to get the uh, fat ladder on the back, which is a really nice option. It gives you a lot more stable of a platform to stand on, and it makes you feel a lot more comfortable going on the roof because you have that extra stability. We do pack them with the hitch on the back with the 2-inch receiver, fully molded back caps. That is really nice because it helps mitigate from water getting in there. And the other nice thing is it helps dissipate vertices on the back of the coach so you get a little bit better gas mileage. You're going to get 10 gallon hot water heaters electric propane. This is an anode style, but if you run both elements, the electric and propane side at the same time, it does 18 and a half gallons per hour on that system. On your tires, you do get Goodyear Endura tires all the way around this coach. Plus, you are going to get gas struts on those axles too. So that way it helps mitigate road vibration coming back into the truck. These guys do use a fully welded and certified off-road frame. Uh, nice thing about that is that it's on a positive camber. So that way when you put load into it, it acts as its own spring, gives you a better ride going down the road. And those are all going to be on I-beam steel stringers and full-length I-beam steel outriggers. Uh, going inside the coach right here, as you can see, you got tons of open uh capacity in here um, it doesn't feel like it's uh really cookie cuttered by any mean this makes it really nice makes it feel really open those uh do have recliners in them with heat and massage uh your refrigerators are uh dual so they're gonna have electric and propane and then they are insulated all the way around that refrigerator on the inside of that box so that way you don't get heat soak and cold soak coming back into the camper. Uh, we do pack ours with the 12 volt pad heaters. So if you're in transit and you have no heat running in the coach because you're in transit, you could turn those 12 volt pad heaters on, keep everything nice and warm while you guys are on the road and not have to worry about anything uh, freezing up on you. We do do the sound bar on them as well. All of your components to do slide boxes, electrical and everything are all right there plus your generator switch. We do have the Lazy Susans in them too as well. These are going to be a seven cubic foot fridge, three and a half cubic foot freezer electric propane. And then they are full wood faced. Uh, on all the cabinetry it's full birch faces with pine boxes. Um, on the cabinet tree itself before they sink this up to a wall they actually fill the aluminum stud with a piece of wood to give it something to anchor to I can sit here reef on this and it's not going to go anywhere and that's on all the cabinets inside the coach so as you can see you got tons of storage you're going to have 80 20 split stainless steel sinks with gooseneck faucets all of our windows are going to have an 80% tint on them so that way you don't get the sun uh, really blaring on the inside of the coach. And then you are going to get full MCD shades. They're all blackout, which is really, really nice. And then hard balances to protect the edges so that way they don't get frayed. And then all hidden hinged, like it would be in a high-end home. All of your drawers are going to have full solid wood faces. They're going to be full solid one inch faces right here which are birch full one inch pine backers on both sides and then 75 pound guides underneath is the other 50 on the split for the drawer on the inside as you can see 
does have the dream dinette that does fall down into bed if need be. You do get a uh, seven degree cant on the roof line of the slide so that way it uh, helps mitigate from water pooling on the top of the slide. Uh, the other thing on the slides, they have a full gasket in behind the fascia to help seal them so that way you don't get wind, draft, or anything like that on the inside of the coach. Um, full barreled ceilings and then uh, we do full uh, fantastic fans on these ones that are reverse polarity that push air out or in and then they use full ozite on the ceiling too to help mitigate from the condensation and it helps wick out that uh, wet heat when you're running propane and then you don't get those musty smells like you would in some other coaches. These are already equipped with a solar panel on them. It's 45 watts from the factory. Going up inside here, we're gonna go into the bathroom first. So it's a full Jack and Jill bathroom. You're gonna get a full glass enclosed corner shower with a seat in it. And those are all one piece on the backers so that way water can't get in there. Another fantastic fan right there. Full porcelain toilets with that black tank flush. And then you do have your uh, double bubble right there for the tall people. So that way they're not hitting their head off the top of uh, the ceiling when they're taking a shower. Nice vanity mirror. Nice big uh, medicine cabinet that's at the right level. So that way it doesn't have to be all the way up to the ceiling. Stainless steel wash basin. All of your plumbing is all PEX plumbing through the coach. Nice big board closet. It does have the European style hangers in it. So that way stuff doesn't go flying all over the place when you're in transit. Uh, you do get full storage up underneath the bed. And it does come with the chairs and it does have a lock box down there for valuables. So that way you can lock them up. Another fantastic fan in here which is prepped if you want to do a second AC. Now you just uh, put your AC right there in uh, place of where the fan is instead. You do get nice big ceiling light. And then as you can see how thick that is, that's how much insulation you have in that roof. It's all the way across, so that way you get the proper insulation factor. 110 power on both sides of the bed and USBs. And then your little white thing over there is the uh, controller to shut and open your vents and then the other side right here going back down into the galley living room area co closet located right there or lazy susan um, the other thing here like i said in the beginning we do the camper kit we do camper college no dock fees straight out the door pricing the other thing i do for all of my customers is i give you 10 percent off on parts for life as long as you own the coach you get 10 percent off on parts the only thing that that excludes is uh, generators. But if you guys have any other questions, please give me a holler. This is Tracy up at Metro RV here in Billings, Montana. Uh, we can definitely help you out with all of our products from Northwood to Keystone to uh, Forest River. We have all of them up here. If you guys have any other questions, please give us a call here at Metro RV. I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.